without having the results in front of me, they seem like a team that you've got their number when you play against England. Um, New Zealand are the team that I think for everyone, and because of yeah. the deep-rooted history, but it's the hacker, right? Yeah. I think that can be to their detriment. Yeah. Because when they do the hacker, and I've played against you New get, Zealand twice, it gets you to a level yeah, yeah. that Definitely. you can't really explain to people. You also get fired up. For, as much as they are getting yeah. fired up from it, you are getting fired up from it as well. Who are you looking at when you face the hacker? I don't know, just my opposite number, like just trying to look at him, see what his body language. Well, obviously, they have like, it's very aggressive in the Arca, so mm. you go, but you're just like, it's, it's a feeling you, you can't describe. You're telling like, me your dad, when you're facing the hacker and you're looking at that, isn't thinking, fucking go on, so. <laughs> <laughs> He'll like watch our games and then. Or is it your mum? Yeah, my mum will be, she, she'll she ever say in a few words to say, but like my dad, it's just, he he's always like, he'll, he watches the game and then he'll say like, oh, that's a good game. Sorry about the loss or congrats on the win. And then, but he's always like, if you win it, if you beat the team by let's say 20, 30 points, he's like, oh, they should have stopped the game half time. Why did they let it go that long? And <laughs> He's always like pointless, <laughs> and when you win narrowly or lose narrowly, he's like, "Oh, that was a great game, even like to the end, it could have gone anyway." So he's always like saying, "You shouldn't let the score go to forty, fifty points." He just, oh, few, well, I wouldn't have played many internationals then. <laughs> they would have been called off early. No. <laughs> no, he was just, but he's always like sticking up for the. I wouldn't, but like the little guy, because he, my father's a big man, but he has quite a small heart, so, <laughs> yeah, he's like 160 kgs that he has the smallest heart, I know. What do you mean the smallest heart? He's just no love. Like, no, like. All love. Uh, all love. Oh, that's like, a big heart. Yeah, a big heart, sorry. Yeah. But it's Africa, like in Afrikaans, you say, he's got, he's got like a small heart, like he's got like a little heart, so he. But my father has a big heart then, okay. like really big. Like you won't, if you just meet him, you won't say it, but yeah, get to know. Hmm. I didn't think he had a big heart up until I was like 15 or 16. Cause <laughs> he was quite tough with us growing up, hmm. but uh, yeah, he's amazing. So, well, maybe that's the reason you and your brother are going around monstering people. <laughs>